Right. So yesterday, I think uh, the exercise given was. Yeah. Let's see the exercise which was given. Okay. So we, earlier we have defined a account class and now what we want and we have put it in the package bank. Okay. So now what is required? We want two subclasses of the account class. One called savings account, other will be current account. Okay. Fine. And savings account works exactly like the super class. Right. That means there is no need to override, there is no need to add new things into it. Okay, but anyway, constructors will be required to be defined again. Okay, so we want the same constructors as in the super class. So that's the first requirement, right? Savings account. And for the current account, okay, what is the additional thing we want for current account? Oh, all current accounts will have to maintain a minimum balance. Okay, so there's some minimum balance to be managed for all the current accounts. Fine. And uh, we now override the withdraw method <coughs> such that whenever someone tries to withdraw, okay, the withdrawal works, the initial check which is about whether you have the balance or not, if no balance, so that's exactly like what happened in the super class. Okay, withdraw method of super class was, okay, if you don't have balance, return false. So that, that should work, okay, fine, and then so now if you have the balance, then the amount which you are trying to withdraw, that will be deducted, okay, fine. As well as it will then carry out a check if now the balance goes below the minimum balance. If it is going below the minimum balance, we will have to further deduct a penalty amount. So that is, there is also a penalty amount which you can fix here, okay. Right. So, let's see how we can go about defining a class, the two subclasses, okay. So, that's the first thing, right, what we are going to do, okay. And then we'll look at a few more concepts. Uh, there's a, what is pass by value and pass by reference in terms of, in, in Java, <coughs> fine, what exactly is happening here, okay. In C, yes, we had pointers and we could do a pass by reference. So, pass by reference in C was achieved with the help of pointer okay so let's check fine we'll check on that part and then of course we'll have to look at some methods of the object class so let's start with the first thing right yeah so for that yes we have the account class here fine which was defined earlier okay and account has account number name balance and we have that static uh, last account number okay and two constructors were there, right? So yes, constructors is what is important. So first thing uh, we would like to do is have a class called savings account, okay? And we'll keep it in the same package bank, okay? So we have package bank, okay? And, okay, and we create as a public class now. Right. Plus savings account. Okay. Super class will be account. And yeah. So uh, this works exactly like the account. So as far as variables and methods are concerned, right? We don't have to do anything else. It's only the constructors which will be needed, right? So what are the constructors in the super class? Uh, we'll keep them public. Okay. Constructors, uh, find parameters for the constructor. Long, account number, a string for the name and not long for the opening balance. Okay. Yeah. And what's the first thing you do in a constructor? First thing done in a constructor? Then call the superclass constructor. 
Oh, we have the same constructor here. So yes. So it takes three parameters in the superclass and exactly same is being repeated. Yeah. And the second one, again one more constructor. We have two constructors, exactly we will repeat the same constructors here. Okay. So that's the first part. Okay. Then saving the counterclass will be like this. Right? So it, we want it to work exactly like the superclass. Okay. So let's save this. And yeah, it should go into the bank package. Yeah. Okay, so we have this savings account dot Java. Okay, next. Okay, uh, we'll again, we'll have the package bank. And again, here we'll keep the public class called current account. And this again is extending from account okay and of course we need the same constructor right constructors will be needed so let's uh, just update the constructor what we did in the earlier case yeah it will be similar to this constructors okay Two constructors only. So you want to create an account by using only name and opening balance. So automatically the account number generation system is available. But if someone wants to create account with a specific account number, then we have the other constructor also. And so that's why two constructors are there. And so constructors are, I mean, I've just simply copied them from the other, it, it remains the same, it's a subclass again, right, subclass of the account class and want to provide the same set of constructors, okay, fine. So now, uh, yeah, what's the next thing about <coughs> current account, what is the specific thing, fine, a minimum balance, first thing is a minimum balance, okay, so minimum balance. Yeah, it's the same for all the accounts. So what do we do? Static. Okay. So we can have a static variable. Fine. And type is going to be. Okay. Uh, we would maybe we look at it as a, a constant. It's more like a constant. Fine. Final. We can have the type is long. Okay. And yeah. So since it's a final, let me use a. And the value, maybe we can pick some value like this, okay? So it's 10,000, right? Yeah, another, uh, similarly, another variable constant which is needed is the penalty amount, okay? Okay. And that can be, we we'll keep it as 100 like this, okay. So, yes, these are some values which we have decided and now, next thing, it's about withdrawal, right. 
Okay, so we are overriding this method. We can use the annotation called at the rate override okay, to indicate that the method which now we are writing is an overriding method. Okay, and then you can say, okay, uh, it's a public method, fine, return type boolean, fine, fine, same signature as in the superclass, okay, and takes amount as a parameter. Okay, so what should be done here? And we can just say if and here do a withdrawal as per the super class. Okay, and just carry out the withdrawal. If not, super dot withdraw amount. Okay. So we are saying do a withdrawal if it is possible and if it's not possible, it will return a false. Okay, in which case we also return a false. See, this has taken care of withdrawing the initial amount also. If it was possible, it has done the withdrawal part and deducting the initial balance if needed. If it's there, if it's not there, yes, we are returning false. Right? Now just carry out the additional check. Check for the minimum balance. Right? If this dot balance is less than the okay, if it's less than the minimum balance, then no. Before we return, yeah, we have to deduct this dot balance minus equal to penalty okay is there some difficulty here no is this going to have us in some problem and can we do like this or there is some problem here yeah okay uh, yeah and in any case if it's coming up to this point, let's return true. Okay. Still, any other difficulty? Especially this statement. Okay. Let's see the account class. Uh, okay. Let me first save this. So we save it as. Fine, let me show. Fine, so we are looking at this, okay, uh, especially that line 19. Okay, now check with the account class, yeah, what, it, what have we done? Huh? Balance is there, right? But what is it like? Oh, balance is? private right so in that other method right in this method can i use balance this dot balance but we have a requirement right we would like to update it or not from the subclass now we do have a requirement okay fine so for this time for the time being yes for some more time what we'll have to do is maybe uh, we restrict it to uh, see, try to keep it as restrictive as possible. Okay, since we know this is part of the same package, fine, we can just keep it at the default level. Okay, fine. So, outside package, I don't want it to be available. Okay, but within the package, let me first make it available. Okay, fine. Yeah, protected put also have been uh, a case because subclass if someone is creating outside the package, fine. Then uh, do we allow him to use it or not? Fine. So that's it. clear. So it's uh, your decision whether a subclass outside the package should be allowed access to the balance. Okay. Then later we are going to reach a stage where we will again make it private. Okay. Fine. All these things will work, but yes, uh, so yeah, so 
Yeah, so till that point, fine. Let's just keep it default. Okay. So we update the account class and make the balance available. Okay. Let me just keep the change here. Okay. I'll comment out the earlier private thing and then let's make the change. Okay. And, and why we uh, uh, made this change because updation was needed in subclass called current account. Okay. And so, mm -hmm. and so that's the one, right? So, fine. Now let's compile and check the code. Okay, it compiles. And yeah, we will have to actually also. Look at the okay, but before that, let's compile this much. Okay, let's compile. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have that variable called opening balance. So maybe uh, somewhere. Okay, we've made some spelling mistake, it seems. Okay, it's there in both the savings account and current account because we did a copy paste. <laughs> okay, first in the savings account. Uh, oh, yeah. Open balance, yeah. Okay, and same way. So let me save this and let's go to the current account also. Okay. Okay, let's compile. And so two subclasses are compiling. Now we can, to test it, yes, we can go to the test account class, make changes and create objects of the savings account and the current account. Okay, let's see the code, we will, the way we have, should be writing. Okay, here is the test account class. Okay, fine. So we declared account AC1, AC2. <coughs> fine now yeah what do we want to create fine type account is a super type for savings account and current account okay so now so can we do something like this instead of saying okay we want to create a new account let's create a new current account okay fine making this change to make it as a new current account Uh, okay, so we call the display method, we do a deposit and, and then of course uh, and then if not ac1 dot withdraw 40,000, okay. So this is one we are trying to withdraw 40,000, I think that is sufficient, it is 110 trying to withdraw 40,000, so this is after trying to withdraw 40,000, okay. Uh, fine, so okay, let's do another one. Okay, so let's withdraw again so that it goes below the minimum balance. Okay, so from here onwards, uh, okay, uh, it will it was one ten minus forty already, right? So once uh, it would be seventy. So let's withdraw sixty five. Okay. 
and we have yeah okay we can display that also okay and so let's compile and run the updated so this is only testing the current account but yes if you want you can always be uh, testing savings account as well so you can say something like this is it two equals new savings account okay and while creating the object maybe uh, you want uh, like to use uh, okay and so we create like this okay ac2 dot display okay it's been created we can display the details of the account and dot okay it's a savings account right okay let's withdraw and how much we want to withdraw 95000 Okay, I think we can do it the same way, the way it was done here. Okay, but the amount will be, okay. I want to put it in the if because it returns a boolean. Let's keep it in the if statement and this will be 95,000. And then AC two dot display. Okay, fine. So this is working with the savings account, right? Fine. In both cases, what we are ultimately doing is leaving, trying to withdraw such that we have only five thousand left. Okay. So we should see the difference between what happens with the current account, what happens with the savings account. Let's okay. So we we'll compile the test. Okay, uh, savings account. Okay, yeah. So what's the problem with savings account, current account? If it says cannot find symbol, yeah. What should be the problem? Let's go on top. We need the import declaration, okay, or you can make it as star here, okay. And test is a separate packet, so we can just say import bank dot star, okay. okay. We should be able to use now, okay, so that compile. Let's run the code. Okay, so initially, yes, uh, so one, two, three, four, that was, you know, we created with a specific account number, right? And yeah, so, fine. so after depositing, so that's one. Uh, after trying to withdraw 40,000, yeah, it becomes 70. After trying to withdraw 65, it's not 5,000, it is 4,900 right? because it was a current account. Okay, and in the second case, right, uh, account number is 1000. Okay, we have after trying to withdraw 95,000, and there, yes, now the balance is 5000 for the savings account. Right? Okay, fine. Okay, let me just check a few things on the account class yeah. okay this one let's go back to the account class uh, automatic account number generation right so yeah Achha, we have done a last account number plus plus okay 
when I feel it should have been plus plus last account number and we don't want to so whatever was the last account number from that yes we want one additional okay so and increment pre increment and that's what we want here okay so whatever was the last account number and plus one is what should be the new account number Okay, so account number assigned is correct now. Okay. If last account number was 1000, this becomes 1000 only. Okay. Okay, anyway, so you should be able to test this code also. Okay. Savings account, current account, fine. And two of those are there. Okay. Fine. So now let's proceed further. So any questions? Yeah. On these two classes, you yeah, can have a look at the mainly the current account code, withdraw method. Yeah. Fine. And for this, the change required was, or oh, since we are updating the balance directly over here. Okay. Uh, see one more thing, let me prepare it uh, right from this point itself. Uh, we have this method called get balance, right? So accessing balance directly is, of course, we have uh, made it default. We have uh, removed the private thing from the super class. But as far as the, our access is concerned, fine, let's make it with the help of a method. Okay. And let's use method wherever possible. And of course, for the purpose of updation, we don't have any other method other than calling the withdrawal method. Okay. And someone could have even done like this. Oh, you could have tried. Suppose I would uh, like to use, you know, since the, yeah, okay. But that would be a problem slightly. I was just thinking whether we could do something like this dot with super dot withdraw. And what is the penalty amount? Right? But that's not exactly what we are doing here. Okay. See, uh, there can be a case where, right? in, in our case here, we let it go negative also. Okay. We are letting it to go negative. Right? Uh, fine. But uh, if we have, we are using if super dot withdraw over here for the minimum uh, for the penalty amount, what would have happened? I mean, we would if we want to keep it private, yeah. And the other way was yes, updation is always possible through the withdraw method, right? We want to deduct, so withdraw method should be able to do it. Okay, but that withdraw method would return a false in case the penalty amount after the deduction, the penalty amount is more than the balance. Okay, so let's keep it the way it is, okay, and we are not updating that. Okay, fine. So Okay, we just made one change which is, yes, we would like to use methods for accessing the balance other than access. So, wherever possible, as far as possible, fine. it's only one place now, right, where the balance is being accessed in a subclass directly. Okay. Okay, let's compile. Fine, it should work the same. Fine, so this particular thing is fine. Okay. Which condition? Yeah. First one, second one. If not super dot withdraw. Okay. So what is super dot withdraw do? 
call the withdraw method as available in the account class okay let's check what is there in the account class fine so in the account class there is a withdraw method okay fine what does it say whatever amount is there fine first check oh, do we have the balance if no balance available return false if balance is available return the amount and return true okay so balance there or not that's a check okay so what does this current account do then then what's happening in the current account if it says not super dot withdraw what will happen with this just if not super dot withdraw if balance is not there then this will return a false okay fine and therefore we will return false if balance was there then it is detecting the amount and returning a true okay so then we go here okay amount has been deducted when whatever amount was there that has been deducted from the balance and now we are checking now has the balance gone below the minimum balance okay so if it has now gone below the minimum balance we will further deduct the penalty amount okay and in any case in both the cases we have to return a true false was if you didn't have the balance altogether right right in the beginning you don't have the required balance okay fine so with this we are aware that yes my balance can go negative to the extent of the penalty amount fine and balance can go negative in this case okay fine so now uh, let's proceed any questions yeah any questions any other questions on this